Good morning, it's February 22nd, uh, 2022. Um, feeling pretty good today. Uh, on my way over to the dentist to get some crown work done. Um, I'm thankful that I have Meta Cal, which I can finally go back to the dentist and afford it. Um, so they're taking care of the crown work, which is good. I had a couple cleanings in. It's been to like been to this like four times the past few months up here at Western Dental in Los Angeles. It's now Central, Manchester. Uh, shout out. <laughs> um, so, uh, getting things done. Um, I say that, uh, you know, when we change ourselves, you know, yeah, we attract good things. But if we keep doing the same thing, we're going to get the same results. I don't necessarily know how true that is. Um, you know, I mean, of course different things are going to happen if you do something different, but, you know, whether you attract, whether all this great stuff comes, you know, if, if that's the case, it seems to be slow going. Um, you know, I think that a lot of times people, they attribute <clears throat> this great meaning to things, this heroic meaning, you know, they romanticize things, well, all that stems from the mind wash of Christianity and, and religious fervor. Um, I can't believe how many people are still I'm in this rehab and it seems like everybody's still brainwashed by this God shit. Um, and they state it like it's fact. It's all just belief. Um, you know, I guess these people, they can't imagine that if you take the scientific approach or just the approach of pro what's provable, that you can still be happy. You just have to have something to occupy your time, uh, something to pursue. And you don't even have to do that. You can just, you know, this, this idea that we have to come up with rules, you know, to for life, you know, and uh, all these measures of failure and success. I mean, <clears throat> you know, me stopping using drugs, you know, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be happier. You know, what's made me happy is stopping and having something to replace that time that I spent using this and doing so in a sound mind. Um, you know, but all this, uh, so, I mean, I don't really make more journal entries anymore. Um, because I, I've, I've developed the habits over time, and now these habits are becoming automatic part of my routine. And so, you know, I pursue, uh, you know, I, I draw throughout the day. That's what I mean. That's my answer. My answer is to create art. And for me, that works. I put everything into that that I can, and I'm trying to put more time into that, more devotion into that. I don't feel like there's enough time in the day that I can put into it because to succeed at that, you have to give your all. I mean, you know, if you want to produce a quality product. Um, <coughs> now, if I start using drugs, uh, you know, that's going to um, cut into my time and my schedule. It's going to throw everything off. Um, it's going to throw my routine off. You know, it's just like when you throw, when, when the water is still and you throw a, a rock in the water, it creates a ripple effect. And, it, you know, the ripple effect continues on through the whole body of water. Um, so that's how I, how, how I would view uh, something disturbing that would be, you know, drug use. How, for me, I, what affects my body is it, it disrupts my whole day, a uh, whole routine, I'll be up, uh, I'll throw my sleep schedule off mainly, and, and, and the recovery.